might create a little more stability, okay? All right, so let's do one hike and catch. Remember your cues, smell the roses, blow out the candle, and then we'll do the goblet squat together, all right? So we'll do all of it together, excuse me. So here we go, let's go through it. Get that hand set up, get those feet set, tip that bell towards you. Three, two, one. 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 There you go. All right, so now let's squat nice and slow, elevator style, stay tall. Keep those feet locked in, find that sweet spot, sit back and enjoy the sunrise. Okay. How do these squats feel now? All right. A little better? I feel good. Yeah. Hopefully it's a little more comfortable than it when you started. That's the idea, right? You want to feel effortless. You want to be able to move effortless so you can just be. You know what I mean? All right. So we're coming up in three, two, one. Hey! There you go. Let's do another one. And pause. This is when it gets interesting, right? <laughs> And down, and back up, and back down, and back up, and back down, all the way. And back up, and back down, up, down, hold. And all the way up, and step it down. All right, so you can make it again. Make it more interesting. Right. Everybody okay? I heard somebody's knees pop. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little adjustment. It's an adjustment on the house. Yeah. Little charts. Little charts. All right, so let's go back to that half get up again. We're going to add another move to it. We'll go on to the next step. No shoe for this rep. All right, so arm back up. All right, so we go into the roll up, which we've practiced. Let's do it together. There you go. Get into that roll up. All right, so the next step will be your tall sit position. So you got to take the hand that's on the ground, and you just want to press it into the ground to help get you up, and then turn your fingers behind you slightly. All right. So this gets you in a half get up sit up position. So some of you might feel a stretch. Somewhere, some of you might not, depends. All right. Next stage, just bend that leg that's out and just to kind of get it underneath you. All right. And from here, we want to take that bent knee and put it underneath your hand. Does that make sense? So in this case, you're going to slide that knee behind and underneath you. So it's going to go behind and underneath you by that hand that's out to the side. All right, so this is that position. All right, still got that front knee facing forward. Everything's still braced. All right, now from there we go into a half kneeling position. Nice and tall. All right, this might feel your hip kind of get a little stretch here. It's nice. All right, take that back leg and we're just gonna turn it straight. This kind of, ugh, this kind of sucks. I have a modified version that I teach, but this is just a traditional get up essentially. All right. And then what are we in the overhead lunge position, right? So we just stand up, boom, brace. All right. I told you the other stuff is it just kind of flows once you get that first part, right? You okay? All right. Come on back. Step back. That opposite leg. There you go. All right. And here we go. Another sucky part. Turn that leg. Ugh. You know. Don't worry. I'll show you the other form when we finish. I got to show you the hard stuff first. So turn it to where your foot's, your back foot's facing inward. Yeah, just, you know, just turn it all, you know. See how his foot's facing in? So your, I guess your left foot, you want it facing that wall. No, uh, pink, pink shorts. Yeah, there you go, that's better. Because you have to have, you gotta have this turn, because the reason for that is because it allows you to hinge sideways. I chopped the tree down. All right, so go ahead and come back. Put your hand on your hip, literally, so you know which way your hips are going. Chop the tree down, takes the load off the spine, and put your hand out to the side, directly to the side, not behind you. A lot of people like to put it behind them. Just put it out to the side, okay? Now, in this instance, we're just going to slide our back leg in front and sit down. So watch me do it first. It's going to be a slide and sit, boom. So that puts me, what, in that tall sit position? Okay, leg out to the, you know, 
And so at this point, you can check your angles, make sure you got a good 45, make sure that hand is directly to the side of you. All right, and then we just drop that elbow. What are we in that rolling position, right? And then we just roll back diagonal, diagonal, and you finish where you start. Make sense? I mean, it does after you do it a while. Let's do the other side, and then we'll try it with the shoot. All right, switch sides. Here we go. All right, ready, ready. So here, here are those cues. Roll up. That's it. Tall sit. Fold. All right, and then we have the sweep. Half kneel. Flip the back leg, ouch. And then get up. Push off the front leg, brace. Boom, tight, 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 tight. All right. And let's come on down. Get down. All right, here we go, ouch. Hook it. Chop the tree down. All right. And slide and sit. Get back in that tall sit position. Make sure the hands to the side, drop the elbow. Remember your roll up position, so position that arm where you had it in the roll up position. And then roll back diagonal away. All right? All right, good deal. So now, let's do it with our shoe. We're going to go right side first. I'm going to face that way, but I'm going to show you the modified get up to where your knee isn't grinding the ground so much. Because that just sucks. It just does. So let's do it together. If you drop the shoe, it's OK. Just do the best you can. So find that sweet spot, wherever that is for you. All right, so eyes on the shoe. Here we go. Feel where you are. So we got the roll up, big chest. All right, got the tall sit, nice and tall. Got the fold. All right, so your eyes are still on the shoe, but you're going to sweep the knee under that shoe. Okay, so keep your eyes on that shoe because the knee goes away. It gets a little wobbly. Half kneel. All right, so instead of swinging that back leg, you're going to take your front leg and swing the gate in. Swing in. I know, that's nice, huh? You're welcome. Merry Christmas. All right, and stand up. Boom. All right, modified get up. Good for people that are recovering from knee issues, ACL, or any kind of knee, you know, impingement. I typically, this is what I teach. I don't really teach the other form, but I had to show you all that standard form. So this is my modified form, all right? Now we get down. Swing the gate. Keep that back foot, keep that back leg the way it is. Chop the tree down. Have a seat. Get into that tall sit position. Drop the elbow, big chest. Make sure your arms in that same angle, and roll back. All right, like butter, right? All right. So now, if this was the kettlebell, you know, when you're finished, you want to bring it down with two hands because safety is number one. So bring it down to the ground with two hands and roll it down on that same side. All right, and then you're going to slide it on the ground around your head to the other side. Because if I had a 106, I'm not just going to carelessly bring it across my body. You know? So now let's saddle up. Let's get that left arm up and we'll do the left side together. All right? This is my tricky side, so i got to really watch. All right, we're all set. Arm, let's get that bells out, or shoes up, excuse me. All right, so remember, focus on that bell. Take your time. Let's roll up. Big chest, big chest, big chest. Tall sit. Still keeping that chest big. Still keeping your eyes on the bell. Hold that right leg. All right, and sweep that right knee. Underneath the shoe, eyes on the bell. All right. Half kneel position. 
Now we're going to swing in. There you go. So now we got a little spatial awareness happening. It's good because you have to actually change directions, which is a good thing. Now we get up. All right, get down. Swing out. There you go. Chop the tree down. And to the side, directly to the side. Have a seat. Nice and tall. Drop that elbow. Big chest, big chest. And roll back diagonal. And put it down easy on the left side. All right. Good. So how y'all feel? You all right? Yeah. Okay. So that's the Turkish get up, standard and modified. All right. You practice with the shoe until you can do it where it's just too easy. Then you start with a light bell, you know, whatever that is for you. The key with the get up is maintaining arm position. You want it plumb line to the ceiling. All right. You want to keep that shoulder packed. And that is you work on all those smaller muscle groups that keep that shoulder in place. So that way, if you're a pitcher or somebody who does rapid, repetitive movement, it'll keep that area a lot more resilient so it can last the whole season. Okay? All right, so we haven't really touched the swings yet, have we? Well, we kind of, I've kind of on the slick been working the swings without actually doing swings. So let's take a look at it. Let's go ahead and stand up and get our bells. <clears throat> and let's look at that hiking catch again. Excuse me. All right, so set your triangle footwork. I'd like us to do three hiking catches in a row without putting the kettlebell down. Remember, smell the roses and blow out the candle. So we're going to count together. One, two, three, together. All right. All right, so set it up. <clears throat> We're going to go three in a row. It won't, it'll be like exactly three in a row. So it'll be like one, two, three. Let's see if we can get it sync. All right? And hit it. One, one two, two, three. All right, I'm going to turn this side. We'll do three more together. Kind of observe and do. And hit it. One, one two, two, three. three. Put it down. All right. So now we'll take what we learned in the hiking catch, except instead of catching the bell, you're going to let that bell just float forward. Okay. We're only going to do one rep, though. One rep. So I'll show you what you're going to do. It's going to be a single swing. <clears throat> so one, and just put it down, just like that. Do not let the bell get above your chin. Okay, remember, it's not a shoulder lift. We're going to hike and float. All right, together. Ready? Three, two, one. 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 Put it down. All right. Let's see that again. I'm going to watch everybody. Ready? Three, two, one. Go. One. one. Okay, not bad, not too bad, not too bad. So, remember your, your body bracing, okay? Press, flex, pinch, plank, crush. Emphasis will be definitely on planking and pinching. Keep those glutes tight, all right? Again. Three, two, one, go. One. All right, not bad, not bad. So that's a single swing. So what do you do when you have to do more than one? I'll go through one at a time. Y'all kind of watch carefully and see what's happening here. This is where we flip it to top-down approach, okay? So you got to the top of the swing, all right? What do you do with that bell when it's falling? All right, so <clears throat> like you saw on the PowerPoint, you have like a little bit of drop, a drop zone or hang time. Hang time is typically from the chest to about the pelvic area. So at this point, he's got to maintain his full body brace. So that bell gets to here, then he's going to do a quick hike, bell under the butt and behind, 
and then right back into position. So the movement is really only happening from here, back, and then back up. So this is where you get that rest time. Okay, so we smell the roses, blow out the candle, let it fall a little bit like you're playing chicken, and then crack the whip again. All right, so let me show you what a swing looks like, a hard swing, hard style swing, and then we'll practice it. I'll go through one by one, and we'll go through the approach. So here we go. I'm just going to count. I'm just going to do five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Should look smooth, effortless, all right, and powerful. So top-down approach, I'm going to take it from his drop zone, and I'm going to actually have him swing it back to me so I can catch it. So watch carefully. So relax those shoulders. When I count to three, we're going to just let it fall. But you're going to actually, no, actually, you're not going to let it fall. You're going to pull it behind and underneath you. But you're not going to be as low as where you started. You'll be slightly higher. Okay? And then bounce it back to me, applying the breath and the bracing. Okay? Three, two, one. Bounce. Okay? So squeeze those glutes a little more, a little faster. Relax the shoulders. Three, two, one. Bounce. There you go. See how it just kind of bounces right back? You just got to make sure you're in a tall position. Don't overextend the hips. Pull that ground apart. Lock it in. Three, two, one. Bounce. Okay? See how it just kind of pop right up to me? And I just catch it. I don't have to look for it. I know where it's going to be. That makes sense? All right. Next guy up. All right. So this is his drop zone. He's locked into his brace. You can bring your feet a little closer. Turn your toes out just a little. Lock it in. Back to the shoulders. He's just going to bounce his arms off of his body. Three, two, one. Bounce. One. All right, so be quicker with the flex and the pinch. All right. Three, two, one. Bounce. All right, not bad. Relax the shoulders. Don't fight it. Three, two, one. Bounce. There you go. So it's like you want to do a standing broad jump, essentially, but you can't leave the ground. Try that. Three, two, one. Bounce. There you go. See that pop? That is what gives you the quickness and without with less effort. Okay? So you're just focusing on producing power without grunting and you know fighting it. Yeah. All right, exhale. Up. Nice and tall. I can load. Three, two, one. Bounce. There you go. So hike it a little bit behind and underneath your butt. Okay? Like you're trying to hike it to kicker. Three, two, one. Bounce. There you go. Good hinge, just boom, bring it. All right. Three, two, one. Bounce. There you go. A little lower. Relax those shoulders. Three, two, one. Bounce. All right. See, it's it's harder with taller guys. So, your aiming point for the bell. You're trying to get that thing underneath that butt. Literally, the bell was a little bit lower, so that puts more load on the spine. So you got to really, bam, get it more underneath you. That way, it's less effort to try to come forward. Yeah. Let's try it again. Yeah, right? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Bounce. There you go. So good hinge. Keep that. But just boom. Bring that, bring that, uh, bring that bounce. So let me hear you. Got the, you got the smell of the roses happening, but just uh, hit that hard count. Okay. Three, two, one. There you go. Relax your shoulders. Three, two, one. There you go. Three, two, one. There you go. That's better. All right? That's better. So you work that until it just pops up. All right? One. All right? All that. One. All right? You're still using that same kind of channeling with the breath. Next. All right. Got your feet set. Shoulders pulled toward the hips a little bit. Relax, relax, relax. Remember, it's just like a chain. You just got to let it swing. Three, two, one. Bounce. There you go. Not bad. You need to use that breath. It's okay. Three, two, one. There you go. Look at that money. See how that thing just popped out there? That's what you want. Every rep should look just violent but smooth. Do that again. That was pretty. Let's do two in a row. Ready? Three, two, one. One, two. All right. Look at that. That's pretty. All right. Power with less effort. Yeah. Take your arms. Nice and tall. Three, two, one. 
All right, so let those hips go back just a little more if you can. <laughs> all right, all right. Three, two, one. There you go. It's not bad. You have a little bit of tension. Hamstrings a little tight. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Just work on a little flexibility work there. Here we go. So when I drop, you're gonna hike it, almost like you're trying to aim for a little bucket back there, and bounce back to me. relax those shoulders. Ready. Lock those, flex those quads a little bit. Get that flexing. So we just want to straighten the quads like you're trying to lock them in. There you go. Three, two, one. Box. That's it. Use that breath. Three, two, one. Box. There you go. Keep using that breath. Three, two, one. Box. There you go. So almost uh, pretend like you want to stomp the ground, but you're not lifting your feet. All right. You know that's that stomp. Give it a shot. Three, two. Stop. Okay, that's the idea. One more time. Three, two, one. Stop. Okay, relax. All right. So it looks like your quads are not engaging like you want to. So imagine yourself trying to screw your legs into the ground. And it needs to, to tighten up. So there must be some other stuff going on. So, you know, pull it out on there. Ready? All right. Ready? Three, two, one. There you go. Relax those shoulders. Don't force it. <laughs> Don't force it. It's all right. Three, two, one. Bounce. I hit the ground. Yeah. Because <laughs> what happens is uh, it went into a squat. So okay. less squatting. Okay. Ready? You're already kind of low to the ground, so you got to watch it a little, a little bit more extra. It's okay. Three, two, one. Bounce. There you go. That's it. Flex those glutes a little more. Three, two, one. Glutes. There you go. See how I gave you the pop without having to try? Mm -hmm. That's it. All right, so that's the general idea. Does that make sense, y'all? I hope so. All right, so now let's practice the swings now. We're just going to do five in a row together. All right? And the whole point of this is to establish a rhythm. Okay? So we want to try to be in sync, establish a rhythm, make sure you're hitting those glutes and those abs. All right? Big emphasis on that to protect your back. Okay? <clears throat> Five in a row. Ready. Loud and proud. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. How come I'm the only one talking in here? Come on now. I know y'all be louder than that. It's been a long day, but I'm tired too. But let's go. We jacked up. Let's go. This is it again. Ready. Three, two, one. One. Loud and proud. Two. Three, four, five. All right. Ready, ready. Again. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. And relax. All right, y'all good? All right, so as you can see, like I said, there's, there's some, uh, a little wiggle room, but that's the general idea of the swing, okay? Forward power, full body bracing. It's a fighter's workout. Also a great fat burner too, just saying. All right, so let's go over that get up one more time, and then we'll, that'll be it. With the shoe, let's see what you got. No drops. <clears throat> Right side. Ready, ready. Roll up. Boom. Tall sit. Fold. Sweep. Half kneel. Let's swing it in. Get up. Get down. Swing it up. Chop the tree down. Have a seat. Drop that elbow. Roll back. Break it down easy, slide it around, switch sides. Shoes up.
Roll up. Tall sit. Hold. Sweep. Half kneel. Swing it in. Get up. Get down. Swing it out. Drop the tree down. Have a seat. Drop the elbow. Roll back. Okay, put it down. All right, good job everybody. Give yourselves a round. Thank y'all for participating. There's so much more. There really is, but this is a good start, all right? So practice your get up with the shoe, and then if you want to try with the bell, it just uh, gives you more feedback. Was it 70? Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> you know, just gotta go into what you need to do. Once you maintain arm position, you get up. You know, your body's doing the rest. So you have a lot of strength just from alignment. See? Not necessarily brute strength. So, just an example. Sometimes I do that with a person too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you all very much. Any questions? Anything that pops up? Great job, Jason.